Ashley Cohen and John Buchagross. Night has fallen in Boston, Massachusetts. Beautiful at night. Can't wait for game two of our doubleheader. The winner will play Denver in the national championship game Saturday night on ESPN2. There is no place I'd rather be than at a rink with Barry Melrose and Colby Cohen. And we are here to watch Minnesota State try to reach the championship game for the first time in school history. The Minnesota Golden Gophers. Bob Mutzko was hired to do this, return them to the championship game. Barry won't stop talking about it all night. Got to stick up for your boys, man. You got to stick up for your boys. Let's do this, boys. Game two of our Thursday doubleheader on ESPNU. The great state of Minnesota. Those of you in Minneapolis and the suburbs and Mankato, thanks for watching. Sit back and enjoy a great night of hockey on ESPNU, the home of college sports. Love the college experience. McLaughlin now out there. Sammy Walker. And friends! Andy Carroll clears it. This is love. Livingstone pinching behind that Pavel. The Czech Republic. His mama down are here. Open in front. Whack. Hacked. Battling. Shot. High and wide. That was Will Hillman who sent that blistering high off the glass. Everybody's hacking and whacking. A lot of different colors. Puck finally jumps out. And a quick shot at the net. If it hits the net, it's probably a goal. But you got to love the way both those teams are going after that puck. Miss want to see their high draft picks in person in a big game. And a good ex excuse to come to Boston on the team's dime and go to the north end. Nice. Stays oh. onside. Huglin. Nice. Nice hands. He's got great hands for a big dude. Oh. Look at him dangle. Leaves it. And alone. In front. Oh, pulled down as Huglin. Nothing called as. Mike Kester came in, the defenseman number whoa, six, whoa. to threaten. Forward, who is a power forward, and then he's got these smooth hands and the ability to make people miss. Watch how he pulls the puck out, and then he uses the toe of his blade to bring it back in, and then, oh, Butchie, how about the toe drag you. before he dishes that puck off? You. <laughs> <laughs> Grew up in the Phoenix area. Matthew Nyes, Maple Leafs draft pick. Here's Nathan Smith. Oh, what a move! In front! Backhander saved by close. And those are the, the marinara mitts of Nathan Smith. <laughs> talented number eight. Forward. How's the pace down there, Colby? It's good pace. Oh, oh Brodzinski to make it 1-0. The pass gets it back. Oh. First shot of the game for the Gophers is in the net. Matthew Nyes, 1-0 Minnesota. Well, how about that for pace, Barry Melrose? A turnover in the neutral zone by Minnesota State. Something so uncharacteristic in their game. And then it's a 2-on-0 for Bronzinski. Nyes, they give it the little give and go. And that's the way to beat the guy who's probably going to win the Hobie Baker and Dryden McKay. 1-0 for the Gophers. Well, if you're a good defensive player or a good defensive team, you're looking for turnovers. That's what happened, obviously. You can't do that against this club. They're big, they're physical, they punish you. And oh, by the way, that was basically six passes. Oh, this is just beautiful hockey. This is Minnesota hockey. This is Minnesota nice. You notice that when he's on the ice. He can fly. Powerful I, thighs. Yeah, I agree with you totally. He's quick. Look at Smith hop around. <laughs> Shot blocked. Rebound. Saved by Close. His first big save of the game. Lacombe blocked the shot. But a shot was still taken on close and he makes a nice save. Some, an NHL caliber prospect. Watch the back check by Ben Myers on the most dangerous forward in Nathan Smith for the Minnesota State Mavericks. They end up getting an opportunity in on close, but you'll watch. in America on the ice at the same time. McNeely's got room to step in. Shot blocker saved by Close. Nathan Smith in front hard. That's a professional wrist shot from Nathan Smith. Fortune tries to throw in front, deflected off the side of the net. Favor. Celia has it. Celia working on Johnson. Top out, get him open in front. Save close. Oh, what a save. Bit of a bouncer. Close is there. In the Provnik back out there for Mike Hastings. But here comes Myers with. Lacombe's got room. The defenseman pushes the play. Nice. Back to Lacombe. Quick shot. Oh, under the left armpit. Driving the game. Under 10 to go. One more rush for the Mavs. Favor is going to get there, though. Chip it up. And that's going to do it in the opening period.
The siren, the old school siren sounds in Boston. Matthew Nyes. The freshman. The game on a two on oh, were you expecting that puck to come back your way there so many times? Not at all, honestly. Um, I was going for a change there and then uh, got a lucky bounce and uh, I joined Brodsey there and uh, he made a great play and I uh, had the luck, fortune to, to bury that, so. Seemed like you guys were having a difficult time getting out of your zone. What were they doing that makes it challenging for you guys to get into the neutral zone and play with a little bit of speed? Yeah, obviously, they're a very structured team. Um, you know, they threw it in a lot, and I think we just got to play our game and um, just start playing forward. I think we're, we're taking it back a lot, but the more we can move it forward and chip it around, uh, the better we can. Nine times this year, Minnesota State trailed after one. They won seven of them. Minnesota has led 18 times. So what you're saying is they're sitting pretty. After one, they're 17 and one. Block Johnson. There's room for Brodzinski. Can't get it to him. Puck goes high in the air. Controlled by McLaughlin. There's room. Quick shot, Pitlick. Glove save, McKay. And the Gophers now. Kind of a slow start to the second period. Not much has happened yet. Myers. Pass towards the net, tipped in front by Hamlin. Great read by McKay. Well played, you're exactly right, John. I was thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, jumped top of his crease and used his feet. Morton, shot! Saved by Close. And again, a lot of times when you're shooting wide at a goaltender, you're trying to get assist. You're not trying to score. Goaltender knows if he shoots it, you can stop it. So right here, you're just going to see the far post wide open. The goalie comes across, makes a beautiful save with his pad. He's shooting to miss the net. He's trying to score on the guy going to the far post. That's ready for this awesome double header. Wrist shot. Blocker saved by McKay. He's impressive in person, isn't he? Yes, he is. He, he is alert. He <laughs> reads the game. He's quick. He's, and his saves are crisp. That went over his head into the netting. And considering we've, we've se just seen a bunch of the best uh, goaltenders in, the, uh, in college hockey, so there he is. Furry spins away. Two broken sticks on the ice. On it, the defenseman pass in front deflected. Oh, and close. It rolls up his body and he pins it against his side to get the whistle. John, you're, you're absolutely right. Two sticks got broken on the same play, so both guys got up. They realized they didn't have a stick. What do we do? What do we do? They both went to the bench at the same time. Yeah, Mott's looking to dish that puck across the crease to Sam Morton. A great look at it from our net cam. You see Justin Close going change. Good cycle play here. Pass to defenseman, wrap around, score! Benton Mass. The defenseman from Elk River, Minnesota. His college career began at UNH just up the road from us. Now he's in Mankato. And he ties the game with his third of the year. Yeah, we can see this is going to happen. Yep. Uh, they had uh, dominant shifts up to this point. You were cycling the puck. You were wrapping around the puck. They, they had their way with the, the Gophers there for a while. By far the first, uh, the worst shift of the game for the Gophers. But right here just uh, kept going, kept going. And, Finally got out in front. Maybe the goalie would like that back yeah. too. So. Yeah, a lot of puck watching for yep. the Gophers. You saw Barry, all five Gophers back in yeah, the right position. the numbers position. are there, yeah. But everybody's just staring at the puck. Nobody needs to tip it in. So we're tied at one. Minnesota State right back in the game. Big hit by Onnit as he sends Bros down. No power plays yet. Took a while in the first game to get one. McKay doesn't know what is. Oh, the rebound shot back just wide. And the Gophers come right back with a golden opportunity. The Provnik. Here comes the Provnik with speed. Oh, good stick work by Kester, who's had a strong game. Pass to the slot. Shot. Big save by Close. On his horse in front. Taken by Stoddicker. Wrap around again. Was almost there. Grohl almost gave Minnesota State the lead. They're sniffing for another one. Shot. Oh, just wide. Grohl's had two chances. He had a wide open net. He hits it as him. Here's a good look at the last couple of opportunities created by this fourth oh. line for the Minnesota State Mavericks. And they're just going to work, Barry. This is old school stuff. They're putting their head down. They're getting pucks to the net and creating traffic. Well, they got to. They know they're not going to give it a lot of turnovers. They're a very solid defensive. He still can't find a lane. Nice 360 move. Gets around Brodzinski. Backhand pass. Shot. Loose. Rebound on the crowds on their feet. Wrap around it.
is Minnesota State hockey. Well, we saw Luke Hughes dancing at the blue line in game one. But in game two for Minnesota State, it's the captain, Wyatt Ahmed, dancing around at the point and dishing the puck. Absolute great puck movement. And then what do they do, Barry? They stay on it. They're hungry, and they never give up. I love what they did here. They just attacked. They won all the physical battles. They won the battles on the wall, on the board, behind the net. Uh, the Gophers just didn't seem ready for the onslaught of the physicality. Look at here, right in their face, right in their face. From behind, right in their face, knocking it down, passes going across, just taking it away. Great job. Yeah, that was a big time play by Ahmed at the point. That's not something he's known for necessarily his offense, but guys, you wouldn't have known it by that spinorama and that poise. Home has it. Kester. In front. Oh, tied up. Great play, Livingstone. He tied up McLaughlin. Lacombe's open shot. Saved by McKay. Squirts to the other side, but cleared out. Benton Mass, the defenseman who scored the first goal of the game. For the man. In there again. He's having a good one. In front. Forehand backhand. Pavel almost made it three to one, but here come the Gophers. Minnesota State relentless on the puck. Can they get one more shot? Not going to happen. And the second period is going to come to an end. It was stressful after one, down one. Bob Moscow's got the big line out there to try to get off to a good start here in the third. And Minnesota State, 31 and 0, when leading after two this year. The time, John, and that's why they've been number one in the country for a big part of the season. Nice shot! Oh man, Ben Myers got all of that one. That thing was humming. You're exactly right. But McKay got a piece and it went wide. But wow, talk about a nice start. The little dish from Nyes to Myers. And look at Dryden McKay. He had no idea where this Whoa. one was. And there's the collision, Barry Smith blowing that. Carroll, another save by Close. Drop around again. They've been successful doing that tonight twice. The second one banking off the back of Close. What time are the best save of the night? Post to post. And Close keeps it two to one. Both teams threatening. And here comes Pavel. Backhander, easy save by Close. Knocked down by Grohl. Grohl's got room. Around the net. Back to the point. One timer. McNeely tip score. Andre Pavel. Number 18 has been a wagon all night. And he makes it 3 to 1, Mavericks. His 12th goal of the year. Mom and dad are here from the Czech Republic. Lenka and Stanislav, and they just saw their boy, all 6'2", 200 pound of them, with the gorgeous redirection. Yeah, the front of the net was just perfect. Uh, they went in front, they got their bodies in front of the goaltender. The goaltender did not see it. One-time slapper, did he see it? No, he didn't pick it up. Barry great McNeely. job, great job. The key to this play, McNeely on the low to high one-timer. He doesn't drag the puck to the middle. As a defenseman, when that puck comes from down by the goal line, up to you at the point, when you get that thing on a one-timer right down towards the net, you don't give Minnesota an opportunity to get into the shooting lane. So that play is so effective. Doesn't give the goaltender an opportunity to react. And guys, who wouldn't have bet on Pavel to score a goal in this third period? He has been all over the place and effective for the Minnesota State Mavericks. Goal is good. Puck will be dropped at center ice. I think they realize they better get that third goal the way the Gophers came out and the way they were playing early in this third period. Oh, arms in the air. Minnesota, Moscow's on the top bench now screaming at these Ooh. Atlantic hockey officials. Roll to the net. Hard. And close is able to make that save. Look good, feel good, play good, Butchie. That's right. Turnover. Saved by Close. What a save on David Silia. Well, remember that one right there. His shoulders are taking a beat. No numbers for the Gophers. Crows sees the man. Nelson tries to dangle. Can't quite get it done. He's trying to go around. Lucas Souter and McKay is there with the grab. McNeely and Bros get tangled. Stick up high. Well, guys, this is what happens late in a hockey game when you're trying to force plays and you're looking to create a little bit of a comeback. And here's the little turnover by Bryce Brodzinski right on the Sillier stick. And looked like the puck kind of rolled on him right at the last second as he got caught. And 
at the other end, Barry. Another save by Dryden McKay. He's been unbelievable. So impressed with him the way he moves. He's had a really good active game, number 16. Walker has it. No reverse to Johnson. Pass in front. Lutz! Oh, he whistles it wide. Walker, the diving attempt to block it. And they haven't given up a power play. That, that means a lot. When you're chasing, if the other team get, takes a couple penalties, a that baby. hasn't happened. Yeah. Still, yeah. Score! Oh, that's a crispy snipe. Upper 90. Butchie. That was sick. That was sick. <laughs> I've seen a lot of hard shots. Just a little bit of a, a re got it on the tape and it shot it right away. Unbelievable. Oh, just good forechecking pressure by the Mavericks. They never quit. They're up a couple of goals and they're still getting in on the forecheck. They're still creating turnovers. And then it's the skill that takes over. Sillier, he drags the puck four or five inches in towards his feet. He gets it out of the way at Jackson Lacombe's stick and he shelves it. And as Barry said, that was sick. That was as good a shot as I've seen in a long time. Absolute box office. So to stay Nathan Smith, Smith, this is his 100th game. 100th game as a map. Oh, what a move. Shot the project. Rebound. Good save by Luce. He covers it up. Myers, full head of steam. Good stick by McNeely. Hughlin shot, but right into the belly, right into the logo. Of Dryden McKay. Desperation times for the Gophers. Down by three with 2.31 to go. Kester. Nice. Fire save by McKay. One more grade A save from the hard wrist shot of Nyes. Net empty. Looking for one more empty net goal. And they're going to the title game. Brennan Furry and the Minnesota State Mavericks will meet the Denver Pioneers Saturday night. Mike Hastings has done it. That's a great smile. <laughs> oh, is it ever it's there? A, it's a smile that I can't yell yet, but I know I can in about a minute. I'll be able to yell, but I'm not, I can't yell yet. So we, we have not won anything yet. Four goal lead, he's still coaching. And yep, Brent, very much so. Brent Faber has a decision to make. Around the country. That's one reason why many came back. For the first time ever, Minnesota State to the title game. First Frozen Four win. They made their first Frozen Four last year, but lost to the semifinal game to St. Cloud State, fellow Minnesota school. This year they return and beat another Minnesota school to reach the final for the first time. Mike Hastings, shaking hands. There's Paul Martin, who's a volunteer coach with the Gophers. Nathan Smith in his 100th game brings his team to the title game. And then so sudden for one team, doesn't it? So much hope, so much confidence that you'll be the team to win that national championship. And then it ends so abruptly, and people go their separate ways, never be together again as a team. It is. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good news, bad news scenario. You're with your friends, you're enjoying the moment together. Uh, you've loved this team for four years, you've loved the players for four years, and you wake up tomorrow, and quite a few of them will be gone to different uh, areas and greener pastures. So it, it is a bittersweet time. Coach Mike Hastings and winning goaltender Dryden McKay. I looked down the bench when it was 1-0 for the Gophers, for the Gophers. I saw no panic in you and no panic in your team. What does that say about your group? Well, I, I didn't think we were playing that bad. Obviously, you and I had talked before the game, and I said we couldn't put any gas on that fire, and we did with a 2-0 on, oh on Dryden. And sometimes he comes up with it. He didn't this time, but he got everything else. You think some of that common poise has to do with the guy standing next to us right here? 100%. He, uh, he gives our group confidence, uh, whether we're up or down. I thought it was big in our response. How special is this win to your program? It's huge. It's huge. We want to keep climbing the ladder. You and I have discussed that before, too, and 
We got an opportunity to win a national championship. All right, thanks, Coach. Go celebrate with the group. Dryden, what another unbelievable performance by you. He brought up the two on O. He said, sometimes you get those. What did it look like in front of you tonight? Uh, other than that, I thought we played amazing. Uh, so good off the rush, so good with back checking. Uh, our sticks were really good. We blocked a ton of shots. And, and other than that, my life was pretty easy. You've been here for quite a while. What are the feelings going through your head right now to win this game here in Boston in front of your fans? You hear them chanting for you right now. How's it feel? It's really special. Uh, we appreciate everybody coming out, and, and we got one more. How long do you get to enjoy this one before it's think time to move on to Saturday? Uh, I think the rest of tonight and then wake up tomorrow and get ready for Denver. All right, good luck, my man, and uh, go celebrate with your team. Thank you. All right, that's Dryden McKay and Butchie, back to you guys. He's got a busy day.